In this module, we would look at the treatment of default in case of Murabaha. And afterwards, we would look at the treatment of early payment rebate as well. Strictly speaking, in case of any Islamic financing, there must not be any default penalty. Default penalty is actually core of the prohibition of riba. Zamana jahiliyat mein, jo sab se mashhoor kism ki sood ki kism thi, wo actually ek default penalty hi thi. Maslan, kisi shaks ne sao dinar kisi dusre shaks se udhar liye, teen mahine ke liye, teen mahine baad udhar lene wala sao dinar vapas na kar saka. تو قرض دینے والا کہے گا میں تمہیں تین مہینے اور دیتا ہوں لیکن سو کی بجائے دو سو لوں گا that is an example of default penalty and Allah سبحانہ وتعالی prohibited riba primarily because of this default penalty hence when I say that there should not be any default penalty in Islamic banking and finance, this is to ensure that Islamic banks inadvertently do not end up charging riba. So, important thing is that from a principal viewpoint, there should not be any default penalty in Islamic banking and finance. And if there is some kind of penalty imposed because of default or because of delay, that should not be part of the contract of the financing facility. It could be a separate arrangement between the two parties or imposed by a third party. So default penalty, strictly speaking, Islamic banking and finance may nahi honi chahi. Similarly, offering rebate on early payment, that should be completely in full discretion of the seller. Agar kisi ne udhar koi cheez khareedi hai, on the basis of BAM Ajal, deferred payment basis, or کچھ عرصے بعد کسٹمر جس نے وہ چیز خریدی ہے وہ آکے کہتا ہے میرے پاس پیسے آگئے ہیں مجھ سے لے لو تو دوکاندار اس کو ریبیٹ پیسے کم نہ کرنے کا مجاز نہیں ہے اگر کر دے تو اچھی بات ہے otherwise there is no obligation on the seller to reduce the price because someone is paying early تو یہ دو باتیں ذہن میں رکھ لیں as a principle اسلامی فائننسنگ میں ڈیفالٹ پینالٹی کی کوئی گنجائش نہیں ہے اور اگر اسلامی بینکس ارلی پیمنٹ ری بیٹ نہیں دیتے تو اسلامی ویو پوائنٹ سے کوئی ایسی پرابلم نہیں ہے لیکن ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ ڈیفالٹ پینالٹی اور ارلی پیمنٹ ری بیٹ actually Islamic banks kar rahe hain. So these two things, default penalty and early payment rebate, they are being practiced by Islamic banks. The question arises, why? Is ki sab se bunyadi wajah ye hai ke hum, musulman, mashallah, apni obligations ko pura karne mein pure nahi hai. If I owe to someone some money, even I have money available, it is quite likely that I would not pay, i.e. I would default. In case of Islamic banks, in case of the customers of Islamic banks, if there is no default penalty, their customers would be willfully defaulting on them. Is cheez ko rokne ke liye, 
contemporary sh Sharia scholars have allowed Islamic banks to impose a default penalty on the condition that the banks would not benefit from the money collected in the form of default penalty. Now, collect curly hai, penalty to curly kya hai. Sharia scholars say that that money should be given in charity. Because if the bank uses that money, that would be considered as riba. Similarly, if a bank has sold a car on Murabha financing basis and the disclosed profit was such and such, car ki price market ke under 20 lakh rupees thi. Bank ne car financing Murabha pe karke usko 23 lakh ki bech di hai. Aur ye facility 5 saal ki thi. Customer ke paas paise aage, wo 3 saal baad kehta hai, mein sare paise dena chahta hai. I want to pay early. So, mujhe kuch chhoot de do. Give me some rebate. There is no provision of this rebate in Islamic law. I.e. Islamic law does not obligate the bank or the seller to reduce the price. Agar Islamic bank ye na kare, to Islamic banks bade badnaam ho jayenge. Kyunke conventional banks actually offer early payment rebate. So, the regulators, they actually ask Islamic banks to offer early payment rebate as well. Iski taraf baad mein aayenge. Let's look at the default penalty. So, a customer owes debt of 500,000 rupees to this bank. And this facility, credit facility is for 5 years. The monthly installments are 8,333.33. The customer pays these monthly installments and actually uh, up to this point when it has made uh, 50 installments already out of 16 installments it defaults. It doesn't pay the installment at that time. So, that is the case of a default. What happens? By that time, the customer has already paid 416,666.66 out of 500,000 rupees worth of debt. And the total amount outstanding at that time is 83,333.33. Ye udhar karz abhi baki hai. And the customer has defaulted. Ke main paise pay nahi kar sakta. Bank of course would start negotiating and it took the bank about three months before the customer was in a position to start paying. And at that time, the bank would like to settle this thing. So, in case of Murabha, in case of Murabha, how would Islamic bank determine the amount of late payment penalty? Puri dunya mein mukhtalif formule istemal ho rahe hain. Malaysia, would have a different formula than what Pakistan would have. But I would give example of a general formula or simple sub formula aap ke samaj ke liye. Wo late penalty, late payment penalty formula ye hai. This is equal to say 1% of the number of days of default. Wo 90 days ka default, 3 months wo diya hi usne paise. So, the number of days of default divided by total number of days of facility left, wo jo 10 mahine baki rah gaye hain, say about 300 days, wo usse divide kar dena hai and multiply this whole with the amount outstanding. 
वो एटी थ्री थाउजेंड समथिंग जो रहती थी वो इधर आई तो इस तरह करके जब आप ये सारी फिगर्स डालते हैं नाइन्टी ओवर टू हंड्रेड ये टू हंड्रेड इसलिए टू हंड्रेड टेन किया कि वो तीन महीने जो है वो लगा रहा तो सात महीने बाकी रह गए ना तो दैट वन तो वो एट दिस वुड गिव अ लेट पेमेंट पेनाल्टी ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन फाइव ये कस्टमर बैंक को देगा और कस्टमर मोस्ट ऑफ दिस अमाउंट वुड गिव आउट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ चैरिटी मोस्ट क्यों क्योंकि इस सारे प्रोसेस में बेचारे बैंक की एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कॉस्ट भी इन्वॉल्व नहीं तो इफ देर आर एनी कॉस्ट इन्वॉल्व वो इसमें से डिडक्ट करके बाकी जो रकम होगी वो किसी चैरिटी को इस्लामिक बैंक दे देगा अब मैंने पिछली जो फॉर्मूले में वन परसेंट यूज किया था इन सर्टन जूरिस्ट्रिक्शन द रेट दैट वन परसेंट इज एक्चुअली रिप्लेस्ड विद अ रेट विच इज यूज बाई कन्वेंशनल बैंक Why? Because it was observed that if late payment penalty was softer in case of Islamic banks than conventional banks, then a customer who owes certain amount to a conventional bank and certain amount to an Islamic bank would default on the financing by Islamic bank. to ensure that this kind of moral hazard problem doesn't occur the regulators allow islamic banks to charge a penalty based on a rate which is actually equivalent to what the conventional banks are allowed anyway in case of islamic banks whether this penalty is this much or that much this is going to go into a charity